I am a queer Chicana who lives in rural Minnesota. The perspective I like to try to bring to my paintings is in exploring color and bringing like a vibrant sense of life into my canvases with broad brush strokes and kind of wild flat color and bright images that are hard to look away from. That's my goal is to draw somebody in and have them want to spend time with my paintings. just finished this series called Kitchen Saints, which are oil on wood that I found. So I'm really into trying to use whatever materials I have access to. So some of these are like old pallet boards and old boards that I've just kind of found. And I wanted to focus on this Mexican retablo painting style. So um, this history, traditional history of painting saints and instead of saints, I decided to do kitchen saints, which to me are hot sauce bottles. I'm working on a series of paintings that I'm loosely titling Roots right now that are exploring the roots of my family's migration story. So my great-grandparents migrated from Mexico to Kansas uh, at the turn of the 20th century and that is an undertold story that I'm really trying to share in multiple ways. So I used to be a professor and I uh, was an academic for the last 20 years of my life and was working on a really intense book manuscript tracing that history and trying to um, make visible the invisible stories of the women who migrated with their husbands and partners to work on the railroad. And so this series of work roots is exploring that migration story, trying to rewrite Mexican Americans into that narrative of railroad workers, of westward expansion, of community building, and also to highlight women's role in that. And these two paintings are just some small studies that I did um, when I was at the Tallgrass Artist Residency in Kansas. And they are of a renovated Mexican bunkhouse where railroad laborers used to live. And they were put up by the railroad there, um, just about 100 feet away from the railroad. And so this is the only inhabitable space that you can go visit. And so it's in Matfield Green, Kansas. If you wanna stay there, it's an Airbnb, so you can book a room and the trains keep you awake as they roll by, but it was really cool to be in a space kind of similar to what my ancestors must have felt like when they came to work on the railroad. I'm really interested in that interplay between public and private. So I'm trying to figure out how can I express and paint the outside and the inside colliding. So these outside scenes of the legacies of railroad workers are in railroad ties that we might drive by or they're in the trains that continue to ride the rails and the interior scenes where people make their lives and their homes are the inside part of that public-private erosion that I'm really interested in exploring in my broader work. I think every geography has obviously uh, challenges related to some of the larger systemic issues that we're engaging with as people, right? Trying to figure out how do we live with one another, especially as increased diversity, whatever that looks like, race or gender, or sexuality, continues to be our reality. I have found living in a rural Minnesota environment to be really affirming in terms of a space where I can be free to be whoever I want. And I really enjoy being in a place where 
I can really be my fullest self and be unapologetic about who I am uh, in the space of my home and that my rural property allows me to be able to do that. painting behind me is a view from my upstairs, so my little kitchen nook, and I painted that piece last year. It's called uh, Tablescape for Two, question mark, and it is a scene looking out from where I enjoy my breakfast every morning uh, out onto the lake that I live with my wife on. That gives me a lot of confidence that I'm doing the right thing, um, that I was called to try to figure out how to move mud on a surface, because that's what painting is. It's simply moving things and conjuring nothing, based, something out of nothing, which is like this amazing magical experience that I haven't found in any other medium, including my writing, which also brings me a lot of joy, but painting for me just is like, a really deep well of obsession and I'm really grateful to be on the journey. really feel like painting and art and writing about one story truly does have the power to change the world and I hope that my story can be an inspiration to other people who say like oh I'm not creative or oh I'm not an artist because I really truly think everybody is an artist and we simply don't have a lot of support around exploring those parts of ourselves so if people have even the slightest interest, I would say just go for it because it can truly change your life and put you on a trajectory towards doing something that really makes your heart sing and it certainly has for me and I would want that for anybody else who wants it. Postcards is made possible by the Minnesota Arts and Cultural Heritage Fund and the citizens of Minnesota. Additional support provided by Margaret A. Cargill Philanthropies. Mark and Margaret Yakel Julien on behalf of Shalom Hill Farms, a retreat and conference center in a prairie setting near Wyndham, Minnesota. On the web at shalomhillfarm.org. Alexandria, Minnesota, a year-round destination with hundreds of lakes, trails, and attractions for memorable vacations and events. More information at explorealex.com. The Lake Region Arts Council's Arts Calendar, an arts and cultural heritage funded digital calendar showcasing upcoming art events and opportunities for artists in West Central Minnesota. On the web at lrac4calendar.org. Playing today's new music plus your favorite hits, 96.7 Cram. Online at 967cram.com.